Hi guys, are you struggling with setting up a reliable outdoor network? Ready to conquer outdoor networking challenges like a pro? Today, in this video, we are going to explore the world of outdoor PoE power switch and how it can make outdoor networking a breeze. And you can get a free design consultation for your technology system by simply sending us your question through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will provide you with valuable insights and recommendations tailored to your specific needs. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable and eliminating the need for a separate power source. Now, when we build up a PoE system, we need to choose suitable PoE devices like PoE-enabled camera, PoE wireless access point. And for the PSE, which is the power sourcing equipment, we can choose from PoE injector or PoE switches. And PoE switch can supply multiple ports available for more devices. Now we know what we need for the PoE system. However, installing a PoE switch outdoor can present several challenges, like the environmental factors, such as extreme temperatures, rain, dust, and snow, and etc. So we should select a PoE switch specifically designed for outdoor use and have IP rated enclosure. And also the power source availability. If the power source is not available, then we can use a PoE power switch. So now let's move on to the next scene where we have the whole setup. So today we are going to connect to a PTZ camera and a wireless SS point using this outdoor PoE power switch. Now it combines the benefits of PoE technology with ruggedness required to withstand harsh weather conditions, provide reliable and efficient connectivity for outdoor network by integrating both power and data transmission into a single Ethernet cable. And the outdoor PoE power switch can simplify the installation and management of outdoor network devices. So let's take a closer look. This is the waterproof enclosure and you can mount it on a wall or a pole gives you an easy way to deploy it. And also it's IP67 waterproof rated. The working temperature range is from minus 25 degrees up to 60 degrees. The PoE power switch can be powered by an upstream PSE, like a high power PoE switch or a high power PoE injector, using the CAT5B or CAT6 Ethernet cable. And it can receive power from IEEE 802.3 BT standard. And it has total power budget of 95 watts and power output up to 30 watts per port. It has 7 1000 megabit per second RJ45 port and 1 gigabit pass-through port, which is port number 8. Now we know what it's about, let's do the connection together. Since we are connecting to a camera, that's why we need to connect our router to the NVR. So the image will show up later on the monitor. And using another Ethernet cable to connect our main network router, to our switch. This is a high power PoE switch. Let me plug it in here. And using 100 meter ethernet cable to connect our switch to the PoE power switch. Now it can inject power in the data through this single ethernet cable and to our PoE power switch. And remember only port number eight is the pass through port. So let's plug it into port number eight here. And we can see the indicator light is on, now it's receiving power through this single Ethernet cable. We are connecting to two devices, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in two Ethernet cable to our PoE power switch. And now let's connect it to a PDZ camera and a wireless SS point. I'm going to plug it in, and they are both PoE compatible. You can see the indicated light is on. Now it's getting both power and data from our PoE power switch. 
And the video is already on. Let me wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So the whole setup is done and it's pretty easy, right? So using the outdoor PoE power switch does not require any AC power available at the edge. Now you can also meet the outdoor harsh environment condition. There are also some more things you should keep in mind. First is the power budget. Now it has to determine by your main PoE switch or the PoE injector. And you should also calculate the power consumption of your edge devices. Second, make sure you use a wrench to tighten up your PoE power switch in order to have the IP67 waterproof rated. And when you use cable, make sure you use an Ethernet cable and it's pure copper because pure copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials. And also using this PoE power switch can extend your distance to another 100 meters because we know PoE has a distance limitation of 100 meters. So you can have 100 here from our PSE to the PoE power switch. Now you can extend for another 100 meter from the PoE power switch to your edge devices. And now here's a video on how to wire 7 IP cameras up to 1000 feet with a single Cat5e cable. And thank you very much for watching.